So, all right, so Steve, let's talk about termites. I know termites are another big pest control issue. I know a lot of people pay a lot of money to try to get rid of termites. So what are some natural ways people can, can protect their homes and kill termites? Asking me to tell you about the new book I'm writing. I'm going to write a book on how to kill termites, but I'll let you know see what it is. The simplest thing about termites is that if you take just 20 milletine borax, it's a laundry detergent additive that women use to wash their diapers, make sure the diapers are whiter, cleaner. They take that 20 milletine borax. It's just like boric acid. All right. Professional guys will use sodium borate, which is a form of, of, of this, the same material. It's got a different molecular structure, but when you've got it on water, it would, it would have let it dry. You can't tell the difference. Spraying wood, unfinished wood, to the point of runoff by using one cup of borax in a gallon of hot water to spray that wood, silk plate, whatever, to the point it just runs, as it starts running down, you stop. Let it dry, you do that three times, you'll never have termites, you'll never have particles, you'll never have copper grass, you'll never have any fungus, you won't have any mold, you won't have any mildew, it kills everything. Borax is wonderful for that. Now, in addition, it makes the wood so it doesn't burn. Some of the new walnutized wood is basically pressure treated with borax. Because it keeps it so it doesn't rot, it keeps it so it doesn't, let insects get to it or anything. Now, the nice thing about that is it makes it so you have no problems and it doesn't off gas. There's not a toxin in it. There's, there's, in other words, you put borax, it's a salt. It's not going to off gas and become volatile like any pesticide would. Okay? Now, one of the things that I have is I'm working on a bait station and I'm looking for people to kind of test it and, and I'm working up with, uh, with people in Australia, California, and I got one guy in Hawaii. And I've got uh, a number of people in China, and I've got some people, you know, around uh, in New York and in Florida and, and Michigan and in Texas. And what it is is taking a cardboard, too, just a simple you roll up cardboard, un, un, uh, virgin cardboard it's, that has not been printed. You roll it up to a roll. You put saran wrap around it or, you know, whatever, plastic sheet, sheet and you just you put that so it's, got, it's open on the bottom. And then it's sealed on top. You can see it if it's clear. And it look like this. When you take this thing and you fix it with just a little bit of boric acid or just plain salt and any one of the good antibiotics, and you put that in the ground. But before you put it in the ground, you have to dig the hole. You breathe into it like you're... It brings in the carbon dioxide, which is one and a half times heavier than air. And then you stick it in the ground so that the top is level with the ground. And it's sticking in there. You stick it in quickly so the boric has the, the uh, carbon dioxide is, is trapped. Now, that'll draw the, draw the termites. And you can, I have had termites in there within hours. Now, a lot of people have different kinds of bait stations that say it takes years before the toilet. Mine, they find it within a, a couple of hours, at the most a couple of days. If there's no termites, you're not going to find it. I took that same protocol that I did down in Florida. My son uh, has a medical clinic down there, and his, assist, his wife has a sister who had termites. And they wanted like six or $7,000 to do a termite control in their house. And in Florida, that is just simply a slab home with concrete blocks. The amount of wood in there, she didn't have $6,000 of wood in the house. I mean, totally. I mean, you have two by fours around the window, Two by fours are on the, the door frame. You had a couple of grafters that had some two by fours. They were in there eating the two by fours. And I simply put down this one station in the ground. And I put one piece of cardboard over the mud tubes. And I said, okay, let's go. And within a few days, she had no termites. Within a few weeks, there were no termites within blocks. Now that's an effective termite station. And I'm trying to find out how to do it. Now, sometimes when you've got something that works that good, as control people don't want it. They want to keep coming back. They want to keep coming back. This stops it. So if you're using the borax on the wood, 
or the termite station on the wood, or a combination of those two, and you won't have termites. 